e-waste is electronics when they go to die unresponsibly. The purpose of it is to open up the discussion of e-waste in an exciting way. What could be more exciting than building a race car? We are all using more and more electronics, yet only uh, very little is recycled. And, and of course these electronics contain very precious materials and, and metals that need to be recycled so we can then make more electric cars and, and have a virtuous cycle. So it's pretty incredible to see a full-size Gen 3 electric Formula E car made entirely of recycled electronics. There's hundreds of vapes on there, phones, laptops, record players, VHS players, old computers. The majority of them have got circuit boards in them. We are trying to get to a circular economy. You just want people to be aware that they can repair items before replacing them or exchanging them or selling them uh, or finding the proper ways of recycling it so that the precious minerals that are inside of all this technology and circuitry actually gets reused. So we're not just generating more and more every year. Years ago, we used to be known for repair and then things we've kind of gone past that is if it breaks rather than even trying to look at trying to repair it it's throw it away and buy new so hopefully it, it, it gives people that initiative to take these things apart and then you know decide whether to then go and recycle them in the best manner or make something from them i hope it gives people a new skill set and change their mindset of what it can do with these everyday items. E-waste is a relatively new subject for me, but I sort of got into the environment. I wanted to go surfing, and my dad said we couldn't go because it was raining. And the reason behind it is because all of the waste washes from the land into the sea. And as this kid, it was like this big eye-opener for me, because in school you're taught, like, you know, you put stuff in the recycling bin, but they don't really expand on it personal implications that happen in your surrounding environment. And I was like, oh my goodness, all this pollution that's miles away on land, it's actually washing into the ocean. And at a certain point, I realized I had this following where I could actually add a platform to share this information that I was learning from experts. Uh, and so I've just been passing it on ever since.